Bismillah, the Rahman, the Rahim. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, waddahu la sharika la. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad rabbuhu wa rasulullah. English explanation of those words with Allah's name, the merciful benefit giver, the merciful redeemer. I, in this case, I, Abdul Shaheed, I testify as an eyewitness that there is no thing no one to be worshipped except the Almighty Lord Creator and I testify as an eyewitness that Muhammad Muhammad let me make it plain and clear I'm speaking of Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prayers and peace be upon him. The mortal human being who lived over 1,400 some years ago. He is one of the messengers of the Lord Creator and he is the seal, the end of all the prophets. That long line of prophets, people who came teaching us, the human family, concerning the Lord Creator and our human relationship to the Lord Creator. Step by step, progression of prophets, and in the final step, Muhammad. The mortal human being is a model showing all the rest of us human beings that which we are also capable of. The type of discipline, discipleship that we are all capable of. When we dedicate ourselves sincerely and truthfully to the Lord Almighty. Okay, my express uh, reason for being on at this time, and when you see me look to the side, <laughs> uh, I have my computer, uh, my personal computer set up here, so I'm, I'm trying to see if there is any messages or comments from you all, from anyone out there in the broadcast audience. Okay, I just typed a comment asking, can you hear me? If everything is coming, if the sound, if the audio is coming across good, then fine, just let me know. If there is any problem, please type it into the comment section so that I would know that. Okay, the point for me being here at this time 
I'm coming to share news with you about what we are doing, we being myself and other people that get on now volunteering to work with us and getting a a, a set of events, uh, things to do, food provision and, and whatnot for people in prison, wherever we can reach to here in the state of Texas. We were able to cover a lot of the prisons to celebrate the uh, Eid of uh, Fitra, Eid al Fitra festival. That there's only two festivals that we celebrate in Alice Land. Eid al Fitra. That's at the end of the sacred month of fasting. Eid al Fitra means return to original human nature. The way that, what am I, I see some type of message here saying that something is needed to be bridged. Okay, it says, Action needed. Frame rate. Frame per second. Let me see if I can do that very quickly. How do I? How do I set that? I believe that should have taken care of it. We were, after the uh, Eid, of, Eid of, when it came time for the Eid of Fitra Festival, we were able to cover a number of prisons here in the, in the state of Texas. And we're trying to do so again, coming up as of now, Texas prisons have the date set as July 10th when they will be celebrating the second year, year of Adda, which means the return of the greater light, Eid of Adda, greater light. And may note here that Adda, or Adda, in grammar, that is superlative, Superlative, superlative. So that light, the second light, is a super light, according to the grammar. Isn't that correct? <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Now, uh, 
Of course, my name is Abdul Shaheed. I am the founder director of the Proud Muslim Prison Ministry, Study Al Islam. Uh, I, I have been a volunteer in the Texas prison system since 2013. I am currently on this endeavor working with people like uh, Brother El Amin Abdul Haq, who is a dear friend, a Muslim, a volunteer also in the prison system. He is a member of the Islamic Association of DeSoto, Texas. I am also working with Brother Ismail Aziz. He is from the Dallas area. And I am working with Brother Muhammad Abdul Jami, Imam Muhammad Abdul Jami and other brothers. We are doing what we can to take a good, strong, positive connection for the people in prison. A connection with this religion from the outside world from outside of the prisons. Uh, as you can imagine, the people in prison, men and women, uh, it is very hard for them to keep up on the, the study materials, the knowledge, the science, concerning the religion. Therefore, number one, they need um, the sacred Quran. And number two, they need to see how we, Muslims on the outside of the prisons, how we live that knowledge that comes to us through the sacred Quran. That's, that's when we're going into the prisons. That's what the people are looking at. That's the number one teacher that the people look at. And and learn from. when they see us living the religion. And actually, isn't that the, the, the saying, isn't that the truth for us Muslims here in society? Every intelligent Muslim man or intelligent Muslim female when you look at someone, anyone that says they're a Muslim, don't you focus to see how they live as a Muslim? Yes, indeed. That, in fact, is what our sacred book teaches us. What I, my meeting will be with the other brothers will be starting at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. My clock now says 6.56. So I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to wind this up here with you guys so that I can go to the Zoom meeting. Zoom, Zoom meeting with the other volunteers. One of the things that I will be asking them in the our meeting tonight 
uh, I will be asking them uh, every person that goes comes into the zoom meeting tonight I'm going to ask them can I give you all or share with you all their information also you might like to contact them you know but anyway I'm, I'm going to ask them for their for permission to share that information first of all so okay let me get ready to go to my zoom meeting and I will keep you all posted the peace be upon you as alaikum